Hi guys, hope you are doing well. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to uh, format the disk uh, we have added for ASM uh, configuration for our rack environment. Like for installing uh, Oracle 11G and uh, 12C rack, we need uh, to keep uh, all our control files, data files and uh, several parameter file on a shared disk and those shared disk are ASM disk so uh, in my previous video I uh, I show you like how to uh, how to create and add uh, the shared disk uh, into the into the virtual machine that we have created uh, by using the virtual box okay so in this video I am going to show how to format uh, those added ASM disk because uh, the added disk are still not formatted are still uh, uh, raw disk so let's get started so I have already created uh, two virtual machines running on Oracle Enterprise Linux 6.3 version so it's running so I'm going to access these machines remotely uh, I mean uh, by using putty so I'm opening a putty session and uh, opening the terminal for first virtual machine I'm going to log in as root okay the password okay so let me show the host details like host name and uh, I've configured two Ethernet adapters interface okay these are the ETH 0 so this adapter is of uh, type bridged and ETH 1 uh, this is the type of uh, internal network so the first ETH 0 will be used uh, uh, for internet access or as a as a public interface and the ETH 1 uh, is being used as a private interface or private network in the rack cluster environment so the disks are visible under dev directory okay so SDA 8, SDA 9, okay, these are already uh, added. These are uh, which has uh, uh, the numbers in the end. This, uh, these disks have already been formatted, okay. And uh, the unformatted disks are SDB, SDC, SDD, SDE. You remember, like I have added four disks, so these are the disks. Now uh, we use F disk utility of uh, Linux uh, operating system to format these disks. So let's get started, like we give uh, fdisk command and the full path sdb ok so here we need to we are creating a new partition so we give new so it would be a primary partition so give p the default is 1 press enter without entering any number okay so the disk has been formatted so we use W to save it okay now let's go to the second one that is SDC again the new partition Primary one press enter and to save W then SDD SDE
okay we always uh, we always uh, take the default values that is uh, given by the operating system itself okay now all my four disks have been formatted so let's see now this has been formatted and named as SDC, SDC1, SDD1, SDE1 and SDB1. Now we we uh, use the same uh, process. We will follow the same steps uh, uh, on the on my another node, which is a node two. So I'm going to log in to the node two. Log into root. Or if it is or like uh, it's a shareable, so we will check like uh, has it been formatted uh, there also. Let me check. Okay, we go to CD dev ls s three star. No, it's not formatted. So let's just start the machine and then we will check whether it is formatted or not. So for uh, restarting the machine, we use uh, command to restart. We use command shutdown iPhone R now. Okay, it's rebooting and uh, we'll start the second machine. Like it's started, I'm going to log in to the second machine as root at and restarting it. so both the machine are starting okay now both the machines are up so let's see by using the terminal I'm restarting so this is the first node where I did the format formatted disks are here now I'm going to the second node this is the second node go to CG dev Okay, so this are formatted here also. So now uh, we will uh, configure these uh, formatted disk uh, uh, to be used for ASM, so that when we install the Oracle Rack uh, software on our machine, uh, th these can be uh, these uh, disks can be recognized as uh, the AS ASM disk. So let me uh, let me use uh, uh, the command. Uh, the command to configure these disks for for using as a ASM disk or uh, for, to configure for uh, for ASM is uh, Oracle ASM command and that recites the command recites into etc uh, slash init dot d folder where we where we get the Oracle ASM uh, uh, utility and we use a uh, different uh, um, commands like create disk and uh, scan disk and list disk to create the ASM disk and uh, uh, to scan the disk that we have created for ASM so. Uh, to uh, uh, to start uh, configuring ASM, uh, first of all, uh, we need to uh, make sure like we have uh, uh, Oracle ASM packages uh, installed. Uh, the RPM uh, are installed on on our machine. So let's check that what all RPMs do we need uh, to configure ASM. So let's use the yum utility to install it. Seems installing the package. So at the same time, we will install it on the second node as well. So 
okay installation in progress on second node okay to to configure uh, asm uh, uh, to, to configure asm disk on our machine uh, for oracle rack environment we need to uh, we need to create a disk okay where, where we will use uh, these formatted disk like uh, uh, i'll give you an uh, example like uh, uh, we, we keep all our data files on uh, on on a data uh, disk group and uh, we keep uh, we used to keep uh, our recommendation uh, to keep the archive logs on the uh, uh, reco disk group so uh, these uh, disk group will be using uh, uh, these disks and uh, uh, as per the and uh, as per the redundancy of the uh, asm disk like uh, we have uh, the external redundancy which requires only one disk and uh, uh, most of the time we use uh, disk uh, redundancy only uh, to save a space or uh, uh, to save a storage on our machine uh, that that is very less expensive because it requires only one disk uh, and it does not have the mirroring feature and uh, the second one uh, is uh, the normal redundancy which requires at least a two disk group it has uh, the mirroring feature and the uh, third one is high redundancy which requires more than two or uh, at least uh, three three disks to be used uh, to uh, uh, to maintain the uh, to maintain the data integrity and to uh, for the data protection because it has it has high uh, uh, feature uh, it it it, it has high feature of uh, 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 mirroring the data for uh, uh, for data protection so let's see uh, we will be using uh, uh, the external uh, redundancy only for the disk the location of uh, oracle asm utility in it dot t and here okay stack for you see oracle asm so now we will use uh, we will uh, we'll start creating uh, asm disk okay let's see how to use oracle asm so we use the absolute path oracle uh, first let me go to the disk that we have created the path okay then we use the exit path for oracle asm utility init.d hash oracle asm and we use the create create disk then give the path of the disk sorry the name of the disk i'm using uh, uh, VOL one and then path and we are using uh, SDB one the formatted one the reason it's spelling uh, uh, again like uh, we need to configure uh, the oracle asm utility the oracle asm uh, on the on both of the nodes so for that uh, we will use the command uh, configure hyphen i okay so usr has been oracle asm configure hyphen first we need to configure it on both of the node then we will create the disk so it's asking is uh, for default uh, 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 default the default user to own the driver inter interface of this so the so user i've created a separate user uh, uh, that will uh, that will the owner that will be the owner of uh, this oracle asm uh, files so that is aura asm i've created and uh, the group is o install start oracle asm library driver on boot yes and a scan for oracle asm disk on boot yes so this configuration is done on the first node then we go to the copy the same command and go to the second node this is my second node configure it so again for the asm o install is the group yes yes it's done then we will run this command to create disk okay so one of the reason for failing uh, uh, 
filling uh, this create disk wall one is uh, the um, the mount point for oracle asm that is uh, slash tape slash oracle uh, asm is not mounted so i just mounted it so i am checking the checking by, by running the command oracle asm status so now it's showing uh, oracle uh, checking if asm is loaded yes and dev oracle asm is mounted now i'll show you on the second node like how i did this if i run the same command on the second node it will show you the no if it is not loaded now it's loaded here again so what i used is oracle asm i used the I did that on the second node, I believe. Okay, Oracle ASM in it. Okay, I used the command. So I was just going through the logs. So on the first node, I'll uh, show the status first. Oracle ASM status. It's not mounted. So to mount it, we need to use the Oracle ASM in it. So now it's yes. Now we will try to uh, we'll go to the uh, dev location and as st star and then uh, we run the command to create disk. Sorry, Oracle ASM. Wall one. Sorry and uh, sdb1 let's see is creating or not this time this time this is created successfully so i'm creating the second volume this time i'm selecting s dc1 this is created and volume 3 for sdd created and now volume 4 STE 1 so all four discs for ASM have been created so uh, I just show you so we use a scan disk command on both of the node to make it available sorry the scanning Okay, I run the same command on second node. Okay, scanned and then list disks. So these are the volumes that I've created to create the ASM. So on both of the nodes, I have successfully created uh, ASM volumes or ASM uh, uh, disks. So these volumes will be uh, shown while we uh, install the Oracle uh, Grid infrastructure. Okay, in my next video, I'll show you how to how to install the Oracle Grid infrastructure and uh, how to uh, use these volumes that I have created uh, to put uh, uh, ASM ASM disk over there and to create the uh, ASM disk group for Oracle database so thanks for watching this video uh, if you like my video please share and this and uh, subscribe my channel box oracle and uh, i'll uh, i'll meet you again with my next video thanks for watching have a nice day